Hey viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Price Sector of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And uh, if you can hear road noise, because this storage building is very close to the road, main road. Ah, dear. Let's say it's busy here in Oxford. Anyway, what have we got here? Looks a bit gigantic, doesn't it? And that's because it is. It is gigantic. It's an Aeolian Vocalion Model 138. Um, and a very grand model it is too. It's the largest internal horn machine I think that was ever made. Uh, frightful. Anyway, as you see in the Sheraton Star, it's got eight legs, like a spider. And uh, there it is, wonderful panel top, all that fantastic inlay. Uh, it needs good polish on the top. But apart from that, it's wonderful. So how do you open it? There's the lid. Or rather, there isn't. <laughs> this is how you open it. That's it. Oops. My, my Chippendale ground there. And there it is. That's the internal compartment. Um, there it is, Aeolian Vocalion. Hopefully, you can see that volume ohm there and graduola there. That's for record storage on either side. Well, it seems we've got some polished tins in it. These are the runners. These sort of turned wooden, well, nipples, I think we'll call them. <laughs> <laughs> Locating those holes there and there. And then the whole thing just slides backwards and forwards on these giant runners. This is the sort of motor cover. Go, which is lined with felt, and there's the internals. I've taken the motor board out so you can see. I've got to repair the tone arm, yes, it's another one with a busted tone arm, but we luckily have got a couple of spare ones. So at some point, we'll actually be able to hear this thing. That's the volume gnome connection there. Now, in case you don't believe me, there's the front of the horn. down a second and have a look at the inside of the lid there. I've got my uh, measuring stick with me, missus. And the front of the horn, we put it there, comes right the way down to here, which is 36 inches to the front of the cabinet. And the horn mouth, so that's three feet. It's an incredibly big machine. Look how big it is. It's enormous. And the mouth of the horn is... Let's have a look. And uh, that's 21 and a half inches by uh, 12. So an absolutely enormous, enormous thing. But there we are, an extraordinary machine. We'll hear it uh, working soon. And then we'll all be in for a bit of a surprise, no doubt. But uh, there it is, magnificently inlaid. Someone's polished it recently. So it looks fantastic. And uh, I've got to make a new door for it. Uh, the door and the grill are badly damaged. But at least they're there, so we can sort that out at some point. But uh, there we are. Yes, all that is, all this beautiful mahogany lining, is just their, um, well, the records. And this compartment is there because, of course, this is a wind-up one. Look at the wonderful inlay on the sides there. You can see all that. Magnificent thing. Goodness knows who owned it. <laughs> How many people get something three feet square? Actually, I think it's bigger than that. I think it's a 38 inches square into an ordinary house. And of course, you need about a foot and a half behind it to be able to. There you go. Then the. They locate. There they go. And then we. slide it all up. There it is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. If anyone knows of a bigger horned internal horn gramophone, please let me know. Thank you and goodbye.